messenger. They call themselves messengers, or actually they don't even call themselves messengers, but they act like they're messengers. Everybody tells you they know what to do. Everybody claims that they're going to give you the best piece of advice. Everybody wants to guide you along the path that they think is great. The world is full of, full of podcasters and YouTubers and bloggers. To stand up on a podcast and to tell me what to do means you think you know what's best for me and you know me and you also yourself know what's the best uh, path to take anyone on, right? Anybody who speaks is essentially trying to deliver that message. But subhanAllah, why do these people speak? I mean, be honest with ourselves. Why are they speaking? They have a couple goals. Goal number one is to become as popular as they can be, to gain as many followers. They're interested in gaining followers. Goal number two, they're interested in selling you or me something. Maybe not directly, but they connect with these advertisers who basically try to sell you and me something, and in the process, they are able to deliver a message. They're not waking up in the middle of the night crying for you, or you and me. They don't, they don't worry about you and me. Their sole purpose is not to take me and you by the hand and deliver us to Jannah and save us from the fire. No, they've got their own motivators. They've got their own intentions. They may not say it, but that's exactly what it is. But look at the one guide, the one guide that's actually out there who cried for me and you, who desired to, that every single one of humanity, not just me and you, every single one of humanity succeed and get to Jannah. That's the Prophet And he's our messenger. And we're not confused. Like we've got this status, you know, reserved table. We've got this like reserved space for the Prophet We never raise anybody to that station. We're not confused. Now, sure, maybe I might take a little message from my professor, they want to teach me physics. Maybe I might take a little message from my doctor, they want to advise me on my health. Maybe I might take a little message from uh, the mechanic who tells me to uh, you know, change my oil so often. There's no problem with that. But it's very clear in my interaction with them that who they are and who my messenger is. We're not confused about that. That is a huge blessing. Honestly, I'll tell you, there's only three gems, you know? This, this ring that we wear on our finger, it holds three diamonds. We have three diamonds. Diamond number one, the cognizance of Allah as our Lord. Diamond number two, this path of Islam as a mechanism to achieve his contentment and earn his reward and avoid his displeasure. And diamond number three, the, the Prophet ﷺ, as our guided messenger.